We are here today for the sentencing of Yazid Issa, uh, I believe at this time. Mr. Dever to the State of Ohio, if you have any uh, anything you'd like to address with the court. Uh, yes, Your Honor. I'd like to... February 24th, 2005, I told Gigi uh, her luck ran out. We lost our Rosie for no reason. It's been five years of mourning, of adjusting, and of just <clears throat> a changed life for all of us. What do you say to a person that murders the mother of his children? A murdering coward, no heart, no compassion, no remorse, evil. Seven weeks looking at the devil in his eyes and a blank expression. May your life in prison be as miserable as you are. We were buddies, pals, best friends, and much more than that, all these to each other. We shared our lives together. Then, on February 24th, 2005, I became her mourner, and she became my angel. I hope he is locked away for a long time, a lifetime. And while he's incarcerated, I pray that God gives us the grace to erase him from our minds and our hearts. I believe it is impossible for Yas to see anything but his own self-motives. And so I have little hope that he will reflect, reflect on what he has done. But know this, the Issa legacy of lies, deceit, and manipulation has come to an end. And for me, there's some comfort in knowing that Yaz will be where he belongs with no ability to influence the lives of Armin and Lena again. We have to accept that Rosie isn't coming back to us. We live with that void every day. Still, I know that Rosie can finally rest in peace, knowing we will keep her children safe. Armin and Lena are loved, and her memory lives through them. As Dominic and I sat down and had to painfully tell the children of his conviction, my heart broke as I looked into their beautiful eyes staring up at us, and we told them, your old dad was found guilty. He will be in jail for the rest of his life. And as sad as this makes us feel, this is good. Not only for Mommy Rosie and for our family, but for the world. He can never hurt anyone again. And they all agreed and understood. They know what it means to play nice. I've had my dukes up for five years. I know. I'm tired. And I want to go my way, and I want Yas to go his. But I also know that that's not possible. And I wonder today if we rank up with those people who are special enough to hear the truth come from his mouth. And Yas set the bar. Jamal Khalifi was worthy enough to hear yeah, I say he killed Rosie. Street vendors and barflies in Beirut were privileged to hear Yah say that he killed Rosie. And his brother was given that special treatment to hear those words. So what about us today? What do we deserve? He set the bar, but I'm not holding my breath. Five years ago, this nightmare started with the act of a coward, and I predicted a land with one. Your Honor, I miss my sister terribly each and every day. She will never get to hug her children or feel the sun on her face again. I see no reason why he should ever get to either, so long as he lives. Your Honor, if it's okay if you could indul indulge me for one more minute. <clears throat> I have another statement to read. 
to this great and honorable court. My name is Armand Dipuccio. I am nine years old and I'm in the third grade. Rosie was my mommy and I miss her terribly each and every day. My name is Lena Dipuccio. I am seven years old. I'm in second grade. Rosie was my mommy and I miss her terribly each and every day. We are happy children and we love our new family. We love our new mom and our new dad and our, our new brothers and new sister. But we are sad too and sometimes it hurts so much that we cry. We hold our mommy Rosie books close to our hearts at night as we fall asleep looking at her pictures. We are sad that she wasn't there when we first learned to read. We are sad that she wasn't there when we first learned to read our bikes, ride our bikes. We are sad when we are playing baseball or soccer or gymnastics and we look over and she is not cheering us on. We are sad when we come home with straight A's on our report cards and she is not there for us to show her. We were sad when Armin made his first communion and everyone in the family was there to celebrate except Rosie. We will be sad again this May when Lena makes her first communion and again she will not be there. We were sad at Christmas and Easter when we run down the stairs in the morning and she is not there to greet us. We are sad on our birthdays when we can't jump in her arms and feel her warmth and her smile. We, were, we are sad when we think about her and miss her and she is nowhere to be found except in our hearts. We are sad that our old dad's heart shrunk, just like the Grinch's, and one day he stopped loving us and caring for us. But we are happy that we are safe and in a loving home, and that our old daddy will not be able to hurt us or our family anymore. Your Honor, Yaz was wrong when he told Michelle that Michelle would be the only mommy that kids would ever know. They know two mommies, they know Rosie, and they know Julie. And they will know only one daddy, and it will be me. I'm glad for that, Dominic. And I challenge him to find the courage today to admit what he did, to provide the apology to my mother, my father, my sister, my wife, my brother, Rachel, deserve. Are you man enough? Are you? Forget that appeal. Stop wasting your brother's money. It's your last chance to save your soul. Right here, right now. Still you guys. Are you a man or not? Your lack of emotion, your lack of remorse, it has been unbelievable. Unbelievable to me. The things that you did to Rosie are unspeakable. And there is nothing that I could do to you that would undo the evil that you have done to all these people, including your brother who sits there, who loved you, to the DiPuccios and to your own children. I am so glad that you will be leaving my courtroom now and that I hopefully will never have to look upon you again. At this time, I sentence you to life in prison with the possibility of parole in 20 years.